This video aims to demonstrate the common procedure of hysteroscopy using a sh cheap reproducible uterine model and the vaginoscopic approach. Hysteroscopy is a form of endoscopy that can be used to visualise the uterine cavity, the endometrium, the tubal ostea, the endocervical canal, the cervix and the vagina. It can be performed easily in the operating theatre under general anaesthetic or more commonly in the office or outpatient department with or without the use of local anaesthetic. Hysteroscopy is commonly used to investigate irregular bleeding patterns, menorrhagia, pelvic pain, infertility and malarian or anatomical abnormalities. It can also be used to remove polyps, fibroids, uterine septum, or sample the endometrium or remove foreign bodies such as marina coil. The hysteroscope is an endoscopic camera which allows visualisation of the uterine cavity. It is composed of optical and light channels or fibres. It consists of an outer sheath or metal tube which surrounds channels for the telescope, distending media inflow and outflow and operative instruments. Illumination is provided by a light source which is connected to the hysteroscope by a fibre optic cable. Distension media employed can be gaseous or fluid in nature, for example glycine. The patient should be positioned in the dorsal lithotomy position. They should be sterilised with povidine iodine or chlorhexidine and draped with surgical drapery. The hysteroscope is assembled by inserting the scope into the outer sheath. The integrated locking system is employed to ensure that the scope and the sheath are securely attached. The distension media is provided by a tubing system attached to the inflow channel and the camera is attached to the end of the scope which in turn is attached to the visualisation system or stack. The light source is attached to the scope and the pressure behind the distension media should be set halfway between the patient's systolic and diastolic blood pressure. A bimanual examination of the patient should be performed to assess the position of the uterus, whether it is retroverted or antiverted, mobility of the uterus and the size of the uterus. In the vaginoscopic approach, a tenaculum or speculum is not employed. The labia minoria can be closed manually to allow retention of the distension medium. The cervix can be visualised with the hysteroscope and the hysteroscope can be directed into the external os of the cervix, into the endocervical canal and advanced slowly into the uterine cavity. Alternatively, the index finger can be inserted into the vagina to identify the cervix and the cervical os. Using the index finger, the hysteroscope can be introduced via the external os of the cervix into the endocervical canal. And while watching the visualisation system, the hysteroscope can be advanced slowly into the uterine cavity. Here we have produced a cheap reproducible uterine model using children's modelling clay and straws to mimic the tubal ostea. The hysteroscope is inserted into the external os and advanced slowly into the uterine cavity. Once in the uterine cavity we can assess the endometrium and by rotating the light source to the left and to the right we can visualise the tubal ostea. Here we have recreated a fundal polyp. The endometrium and the endocervical canal should also be assessed while the hysteroscope is being slowly withdrawn. In summary, during this short video we have successfully demonstrated using a cheap reproducible uterine model the vaginoscopic approach to hysteroscopy.